So, last we left off, you guys made your way to uh, what had once been a ruined temple uh, north of Uvila. Um, you uh, managed to find an actual proper temple to Mistra in its place. Um, where you were met by star guide Rohesia, who seems to be uh, a a rune child like Levi, uh, and also a paladin. Um, she was able to provide you some information, not only on Mistra, but also about when this temple existed, um, which seemed to be way back in the blood era after the gods left the planet for the upper planes or lower planes depending on which gods they were um he was also able to talk to Levi a little bit about what it means to be a room child uh and it is the star guide's belief that room children um, were foreseen to have a a natural curiosity and um, were given magic in the form of runes in order to help sort of foster that curiosity about the world around them. Um, she also offered a ritual so that you all could perhaps gain a little more clairvoyance in what what it is you're doing gain some more answers because for up until now you've been sort of just trying to piece together what you can uh but it but it feels like you're missing some pieces. So are there any other conversations that would like to happen prior to this more specific divination? Either among each other or with the star guide. I mean, I feel like I have a lot of questions, but I don't really know if there's like, it It seems kind of like we were going into it. <laughs> Demir wouldn't interrupt what is happening between the Star Guide and Levy, um, but. The Star Guide has, has offered you this gift uh, this ritual-like thing. Um, so if there's anything you would like to bring up, uh, it would be wise to do so now. I mean, what the mirror is like... <laughs> yeah, it's like, how long has this temple been here to you? Temple was built. Not a decade and a half ago. I mean, has it has it been busy of late? Are we the first visitors you've had in a while? We are a rather isolated location. We have, um, we have uh, those who wish to study Mistra and magic. Uh, we have the various priests of our temple. Every now and then, some people will come on a pilgrimage, but not with any real regularity. How many priests are here? There's a handful of us. Um, I'd say 15, including myself. Demir kind of like looks around. Uh, is 
is there like can I see like any areas that might like lead to a living quarter or anything yeah, like that? There's a, a couple doors in this hall. There is um uh as I said, the temple itself is large and rather star shaped. Uh you just happen to be in the central room. I mean, I can't help but be curious. I, I think I'm going to, like, go and, like, open a door. <laughs> okay. Um, you pick a door. Um, let's see what you find in there. Um, you are able to see um, a short hallway with a couple other doors inside of it. Does the hallway look to be the same age as the temple? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, you're just going to like look over at the party, just like, are we like really doing this? It ain't the weirdest thing that's happened with time yet. What else is there to do? I think we've got a, the potential benefits are a lot. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Um, see, I was thinking, um, would it not <clears throat> improve Mistress, I guess, standing in our plane, in our time, to have some kind of representative, um, Somebody carrying some form of her her will out. I mentioned previously, I would be glad to provide you in, uh, with a symbol of Mistra as well as her holy book. Yeah, I... I think... I think that might be something I I might want to take on um, if uh, that suits the rest of the party, of course, because uh, if she were to perhaps have a tether of some sort or an anchor, that might help things a little. It's just the... It's, it's just a theory that I've had brewing in the back of my brain, but I mean, finding this this pocket of her influence in the middle of all of the chaos of her absence is kind of driving it home for me. Uh, that may be she needs a foothold of some sort. Um, I think she might need all the help she's going to get. Right. Oh, so Aaron's gonna uh, put a hand on Levi's shoulder and squeeze and say, of course, it's always nice to have uh, people who believe in you. Yeah, it it kind of is, um, I think, um, oh god, tried to remember the very nice lady's title really quick, hang on, hang on, hang on. Star Guide. Uh, star Guide, uh, ma'am, um, would this ritual give me any kind of, uh, chance at, uh, forming some sort of 
bond or deal with Mistra at all? Or uh, would that be a separate thing? Um, I, like I said, this this has kind of been going on in the in the back, in the back of my head uh, for a minute. Um, I was thinking if I could if I could just find uh, enough information on her, I could start compiling it and uh, and at least holding back some of the degradation. Uh, I think I think this might help. <laughs> it's quite possible. Um, I do not know exactly what you will see. Uh, but if Mistra wills, wills it so, uh, quite possibly. All right. Um, I, I'd like to give that a shot then. Um, do you think it'd help if I if I were to uh, study the book first or? <clears throat> I shall give you the book to have in your possession. In the meantime, I will prepare the necessary components for the ritual. Uh, she hands you the book. Um, Lady holds it like it's gold. I did <laughs> give a title that I have to find. Um, here we are. The holy book is called The Song of Magical Creation. Hell yes. Um, and I will share the document with you. Yes. Just one second. <clears throat> Scroll down to find you in Discord. Boop. Mm. Uh, you can skim with that if you like. Hell yeah. Here your little that. icon in the corner. It says you are a walrus. Hell yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to skim this. Levy is just face first right into this book. You're the walrus. Goo goo get you. I I do feel as if uh once Levy gets the book out, Demir might go poking around in the hallway a little bit. Okay. Um uh, Valk accepts the holy symbol and is meditating. All right. Uh it's just a little simple star pendant, uh made of a kind of a silvery metallic material. It's very pretty. Um, give me a roll investigation check. Boy, okay, 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 okay. Pull up the right sheet. Uh, ooh. Okay, that's a 16 plus, uh, I think that's a 28. 28, all right. Uh, so looking around, it seems you have picked the correct hall. Um, this hall, uh, you can see uh, a, a kitchen off to one side, um, and uh, you can see a, uh, a room in which uh, there's rather uncomfortable looking cots, as you would kind of expect for a, a holy site. Um, but uh, you can see uh, a few people wearing similar robes in color to that of the star guide, uh, both in the kitchen and helping clean up the, the rest area. Um, and they don't, they kind of glance your way, but they don't seem to reach out to you. Is there like a, an apple or something in the kitchen? Yeah. Can I, can I, I'm really hungry. Um, one of the, the priests, um, a half elf man with fair skin, kind of short cropped 
uh, brown hair, um, kind of glances at you and uh, says, um, go right ahead. Thanks. And I am going to take the apple and uh, return to where Lish is and just like, yeah, there are other people in here. There shouldn't be other people in here, right? Why shouldn't there be? I mean, I guess they're all out of place. This whole place shouldn't be here. Well, like, when we went to leaving his village, it can be a location more so than one person. And I think it's just as accurate to say we shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Tamir is just going to put that apple away in her pocket. <laughs> Curious to see what happens to it. I, I think we're a little too early in the timeline to be able to send a letter to ourselves. A little bit. Next time, then. I doubt your guys' home address even exists right now. No, we would have to put a delay on the letter, obviously, but... That would have ended up in a museum. (laughs) A delay from the second age would be a bit of, uh, of a big ask. Exactly. And then Val kind of goes back to meditating and contemplating the holy symbol. All right. So eventually the star guide returns with various materials, including some some incense and uh, a sort of a silvery bowl. Um, and she instructs you to sit in a circle on the floor within this room around the the incense bowl. Do I recognize the ritual? Uh, You do not. Okay. Soda's going to stay out of the circle and sort of just like, I kind of want to see how it goes from the outside. You guys can tell me everything that happens in and someone should probably watch the door. In case we have more visitors, anyway. <laughs> All right. You really want to miss out on this combat? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was more directed at Max yeah. than. You'll see. They're um, all according to Kate Gaiku. <laughs> So the star guide um, lights the incense um, and she scatters some sort of dust in a circle around the bowl. Um, and you can see she is, uh, she uh, speaks the verbal components and is tracing the various runes in the air. And for all of you, it's as if you are falling asleep. And I think the the best way to sort of draw you all into this is to pose a question about philosophy. Are you who you, uh, if you did something that you do not remember, was that still you? Or are we the sum of our memories? So, Erin, before, You had seen a brief vision of 
being in an office with um, with a cloaked man with his back to you. Mm-hmm. You had made the assumption that this was an office, given the presence of the desk before you, the chair. But you realize now, as everyone is more or less blown backwards by this man, that is not an in fact, an office it is something more like a library. <clears throat> it's a very long hall. And you have the understanding, all of you, that you had gotten whispers that something terrible was happening in Island. And that there was a shift in the gods and a certain amount of fear. And you had reached out to the gods directly, uh, which had ended uh, ended up um, causing your uh, companion, B, to, to sacrifice her life in order for you to reach out to the gods. Um, and had discovered that one of the leaders of the, the Turning Spire had accessed knowledge he was not meant to access in order to essentially to your knowledge remove Mistra from the equation to use her power to sort of work as something like a a battery for what he needed and there's still time to stop him and you had arrived at the turning fire to find the two other Archmages who had also started to figure out that something was wrong dead within their throne room. And traveling within the Turning Spire, you managed to locate Idurin with the intent to stop him. But feeling like there was not enough time to properly prepare for this encounter. I have reached out to some of you, giving instruction. Perhaps this involves missing objects that you may otherwise have in your inventory. Perhaps this means the presence of a person within your group that you have not yet uh, seen in a while. But as you all are blown back, you can see within this office, library-like space, the face of uh, Archmage Idurin the Indefinite for the first time in your memory. He's an, an older elf man. Um, he doesn't look like this terrible evil force that you had expected. He just looks like a man. Uh, he has long, kind of grayish white hair. Um, and, uh, kind of showing his age. And frankly, he looks kind of grandfatherly in a way, if he didn't look worried. You can also see behind him, uh, wrapped in a golden net, just a mass of starlight. 
And I would like for everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, well oh, fuck a doodle do. It's like, get netted, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At last, Mistra stepped into my cartoon net trap. Alright, so initiative. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I got a 10. <laughs> I got a 6. Uh, I rolled decently for once. 16. Alright. So, Demir is a 23, and Tobias is a 21. Okay. Five. What's Toby's... Uh, I didn't roll. Because I also uh, got a 21. Toby has a plus three dex. I only have a plus two. All right. Mm. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Get netted, bitch. Um. All right, let me switch over to the combat music. <laughs> You're no longer in the temple. All right. So, let's see, what are you going to do? I think I'm going to start off small with a fourth level spell. Um, let me just pull up the deeds. I was not expecting him to go first. <laughs> um, okay. I would like, let's see. Hmm. I would like for Balk, Tobias, Lish, Levy, and Demir to make a dexterity saving throw. Huh. 18 for me. Okay, that's a failure. Toby got a 13 and Demir got a 10. Uh, I don't think I could Both are failure. even make this if I re-roll this. So I'm just going to take it on the chin with a 5. Yeah, no. <laughs> you said Levy as well, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a 7. <laughs> How does yep, counter spell work in, um, work in this edition? So uh, he casts a spell and then places his hands on the ground and then fire just lining on the ground. Like sort of, a, sort of like a uh, um, you know in cartoons when there's like a trail of gunpowder or something and it, there's just a little spark that's going along to it. Those little sparks streak towards you and you each take 20 fire damage. Um, and then for his bonus action uh, he withdraws from his traveling cloak um, a small, thin whistle. He blows it, but you cannot hear any sound. Uh, and he is going to 
move here next to his desk. And that brings us to Demir. Don't like that. Okay. Um, so, bonus action, because I'm going to remember this time. Um, everyone, I think, but Hawk sorry, Hawk, um, is going to get five temporary hit points. <clears throat> and um, you can immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. I'm using my mantle of inspiration. All right. Um, so let me add temporary hit points. Oh, wait. I don't get them. Toby does. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I am just remembering how to do this. Um, okay. So, uh, that's my bonus action. Um, I am going to use that. Uh, let's see. I can't use the reaction. So, five. 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to move over here. Um, and let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry, I'm trying to decide what to do. Um, yeah, you know what? Hold on. Is it far enough? Is it within 120 feet? Let's find out. I apologize for taking forever. Oh, perfect! He is, he is just a bit range for a, a fucking Eldritch Blast! <laughs> um, so all three bolts are coming his way. Uh, does a 16 hit. Uh, what? A 16. Uh, 16 misses. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Okay, then two bolts hit. Um, okay. let me, uh, <laughs> only four points of damage total. Okay, every Rip. Health, right? Yep. Uh, No one's been hurt. No one needs healing. Uh, all right. Uh, that's that's my turn. Okay. Uh, but you get to go again because you're answering oh. Toby. <laughs> Yay, Toby! Okay. <laughs> um, let uh. Okay, so Toby is going to use the reaction movement that uh, I gave him. Um, I don't know. Can I move him? I cannot move Toby. Okay. Here, let me just fix that real quick. Just a moment here. Oh, my God. He has 45 feet of movement. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all, Toby's is strong. Toby? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got them legs. Okay, you so should tall. be able to move him now. Cool. I'm going to stop. I think. 35, 45. Reaction move. Um, Just to kind of get us from being cl clumped together. Um, And, uh, I think that puts him within range to do his longbow attack. Mm hmm So he's gonna pop off a shot. Um, that's a 19 to hit. 19 hit. <clears throat> and then I think he can do it twice. Yeah, he does. So I'll just roll that uh, mm -hmm. before. Um, the second hit the second one doesn't hit, but that's okay because he hit at least once and it was with his first shot. So he gets an extra 
damage die because of the kinetic bowstring. I am mm-hmm. sorry. I am just going to narrate how I am rolling up Toby's dealy bopper. You're good. Um, <clears throat> so that uh, 18 points of damage. <laughs> um, and unlike Tobias, <laughs> Or unlike uh, Mackenzie, I am going to uh, have Toby. Oh shit! I should have had. Mm, I should have had him activate his blood curse. Um, can I retroactively do that? No, because you're talking about it ahead of time. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Kidding. That's okay. He doesn't so you, need to activate his curse to do this. I don't. Yeah, you're right. Nope. Valid, 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 valid. Uh, he doesn't need to activate his blood curse to do this, um, which is uh, he is going to put the brand of castigation on a uh, fuck face over there. Okay. Um. So, yeah. That Can just you tell uh, me what that does. Um, so I can make an icon so... for it. Whenever you damage a creature with a weapon that has uh this right activated. Uh, you sear an arcane brand onto that creature. Uh, he always knows the location of the creature as long as they are in the same plane as you. Um, okay. Each time the branded creature deals damage to you or another creature you see within five feet, the branded creature takes four psychic damage. Um, and uh, it can't take a dash action. And if uh, the creature tries to teleport, it needs to... Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, the end of Toby's turn, he's going to use one of his legendary actions to cast an Eldritch Blast at Toby. <laughs> um, let's see. And that's going to be four beams. <laughs> see um sorry math um who who would have thought there would be math in this game um really so i got uh two 19s the natural 19 plus stuff and then a natural 20. Yeah, yeah, they all hit. Um, all right. Rip Toby. All right, just one second here. Um, yeah, maybe 10. So he takes 17 force damage. Cool. Cool, cool. Erin. Alrighty. Um, So I've got... uh, Demir, I've got the ability to use a reaction to go my full movement speed. Is that correct? Yep. God, that's fun. All right, then this is uh this is gonna work out great. All right, so he's going to burn that first of all, um, which gets him up here, I think. Um, and then he's going to uh, spend his uh, action. Uh, dashing, which is going to put him up here. Um, and then from there, he is going to let me double check that this works like how I think it does. Yep, uh, from there, he's going to rage, which gives him the ability to instinctive pounce. 
Uh, so he's going to jump up here. Um, and let me put down a rage for that. All right. Um, and that puts him right in position to burn an action surge and start whirling away. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um, first hit is going to be an 18. Uh, 18 hit. All righty. Um, in that case, you'll be looking at... Uh, that's actually not terribly good. Um, four, five, six. That'll be 12 damage. Mm, okay. Um, and his second attack, uh, that definitely hits. It's a 22. Um, and I get to all ones. All right. Uh, so that'll be... Uh, 19 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, and I think that'll be his turn. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, can you do me a favor and... Hmm. I'm not seeing a saving throw for this, actually. Just a second. I have, I have to look up the details for that because it doesn't make sense to me that it wouldn't have a saving throw. That's fair. Mm. Um. It okay. It there's no saving throw. Um. All righty. Cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you're in uh you make land these attacks against uh the the archmage and once you hit you can see him say something and trace these runes in the air and suddenly you find yourself what seems to be deep underground in a maze of some sort. Oh, fun! The rest of you just see him cast a spell, and then you're in a blinks out of existence. No rolls. Not him, not Aaron. Nope. Bankers. I, I have a reaction. I can counterspell that. You would need to roll for it. Alrighty. Let me see what I need to roll. Okay. Uh, let's give that a shot. <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, what am I? Am I just rolling a standard roll or is it just uh... double checking? Um, yeah, it's, you just have to, to roll a d20. Cool. Uh, I, I rolled a seven. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a failure. And you have burned your reaction. Yep. All right. But it seems like he's burned his legendary actions too. So we've got that going for us. Um, Valk. Hi. Uh, I have half a plan. When can you use a reaction? 
either on your turn or when they trigger it? Yeah. But you only get one reaction round. How long does the extra move last, the mirror? It doesn't say. It just kind of says that... Uh, well, okay. Hold on. Let me pull it up again. Um, each creature can immediately use its action reaction to move up to its speed without provoking an opportunity attacks. So... Oh, I think so we a... needed to use it when you casted it. Yeah. <laughs> We'll let it slide for now. Sorry, I'm still getting used to it. So okay. I get to use it or lose it. Um. Do you want know my other reactions are more valuable in this case? And double checking, but this is indeed an action, which is a pain in the ass. Yep, it is indeed an action, so I would like to activate my Wings of Flying. All right. At which point I now get a 60-foot move, which puts me at that square. Damn it. Okay, in line with the bench, in line with the bench, in line with the bench. Yeah, they look like benches, but they're really bookshelves. Just a heads up. Just so I can figure out where I need to drop Valk. Okay, yeah. so there's my action and move, at which point I have a bonus action, double checking. Yep, I got the range for this. I would like to cast Spiritual Weapon. Cool. At which point... What can would I you have like your spiritual weapon to look like? I could take a spear or a hammer as long as it's glowy. Alright. How um. hmm. many glowy options, but why don't we do that? And I'll make it so you can, can move that. Where is it? It's right next to you. No, it isn't. Uh, hold on. Why are you like this? Well, 20. There we go. Oh, there it is. So I summon it there, which is within range. Well, at which point uh, he's part of going to use his reaction to counter spell. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> well, he rolls, right? Uh, what level is uh, spiritual weapon? Two. No, he does not have to roll. Asshole. Because I didn't upcast it because I wanted to save my smites for bigger shit. Mm hmm. Um. Well, I, of course, use my free action to activate the spear. All right. Um. And I flip them the bird. Cool. That's my rank. Sleepy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Um, I also have, like, half of a plan. Um, but first, you use or lose your movement. Oh, fuck. Yes, I know. I realized that. Uh, I was paying attention at Crummy. Uh, uh, I think she's 30 feet of movement. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Lovely. Wonderful. 
30. So that's for reaction and not move. And then I'm going to measure. Uh, excellent. Lovely. I can, in fact, hit both of them if I really wanted to. But I'm going to center it on. Well, hang on. Our. Our lovely melee folk. Would you like to move uh, to to have to move less to get to this fucker to hit him super hard? Yes. Uh, uh, I have. I activate my wings so I can reach him in my next movement. Nice. What about Erin? Erin is on a different plane I got of existence. Sent to a maze. He's oh, in the boy. back rooms. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering where Aaron was. I'm like, why can't I find him on here? I forgot. I'm so sorry. Brain He's scrambling. gone. No clue what happened to him. Brain scrambly. Okay. Aaron, come back from the war. Um, Please, God. Anyways, um, in that case, I think I'll, I'll pull him minimally. Uh, with I think I'm gonna try to cast me a gravity sinkhole. Okay. Uh, at normal level, which is okay. There we go. I found it. Oh, uh, is that a dexterity saving throw? It's a constitution. Constitution. Okay. I uh, figured fun. dex cool. was gonna be a bad option. Uh, and I'm gonna center it. Uh, like right. Here. That's uh, where the center will be. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your DC? My DC is... Please don't beat it. Uh, it's 17. <laughs> well, he got a 19. I'm gonna fucking Fuck you, cry. roll again. <laughs> okay. Um, he got a 23. Oh, fuck. Okay, so he goes with the lower, but... Uh, I'll take advantage on my next attack, though, because uh, that's good. So Valk did her thing where, you know, she casts silvery barbs and she kind of flashes her cranky mode. Sick. Uh, so he doesn't I get tried. Cold, but he takes half damage, I believe, is the rule. Yeah. One, yeah? Excellent. Well, nobody can say I didn't try. Um, grabbing my D10s really quick. Uh, uh, clearly thinking ahead is not my strong suit this morning. Um, but by God, am I trying? <laughs> Four and where's number five? Where is it, Jerry? Where is it? There we go. Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 3 divided by 2, which would be 17. Thank you, you round up, right? Oh, God. I yeah, see, the, round, I see round you up. typing. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, anyways. So yeah, seven, 17 uh, force damage, I believe, is what it is. Cool. Uh, right. Let me double check that just to make sure. Uh, yeah, force damage. All right. Cool. Which brings us to Hawk. All right. One has her off for the Hawk Classic. We're going to... He's going to move up to this bookcase, using it sort of as cover. He's going to actually start right here. Uh, he'll move... He's there to move, to move out there after he attacks. Is this guy in a reasonable range? 
Shropshire helps me out with that. He's 95 feet away. Uh, let me just check the feet stuff. Because I don't remember how the range on this thing works. Oh! Never mind. The minimum, the minimum, uh, I guess the first range band along was under 50 feet, so I'm going totally fine. Uh, all right. We're going to roll not one, but not two, but three 11th level fighter attacks. I'm just going to roll two more each ones here. That was 17 plus five? Let me double check. I'm having to do a bunch of mental math. Here, extra mental math because stuff. Yeah, seventeen plus five, which would be twenty-two. We've got a sixteen and a twenty-one. A sixteen misses, twenty-one hits. All right, so that's a twenty-one and twenty-two hitting. Uh, he will burn one charge of arcane. Whatever. I'm gonna roll damage all together. I'm gonna have him make, I believe it was a double check. As as is rich as is ritual for the hot classic, he's going to use Shadow Arrow and he's going to and uh Eidard is going to succeed on his saving throw. Wisdom save, that's what it is. Alright. What's your DC? Uh, let me double check. Okay, proficiency intelligence. Two, ten. So just be proficiency fifteen. You got a dirty twenty. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> the hot classic continue. never fails. <laughs> Even in the past, it never worked. All right. All right. Is that it for your turn? Uh, I just uh just added up the damage. That's. Uh, let's see, 1d8, 9, 19 piercing, and then 6 psychic. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then he will conclude his turn, not using action, bros at an action search just yet, by ducking into this bookcase for cover. All right. Now the Lish can go. Lish, um... It's at this point that you guys realize Lish looks a little different. Yeah, so as Lish kind of steps forward a little bit, um, you definitely can tell something's a little different if you look at him, considering that he takes the step forward and his wings unfold from his back and he lifts into the air to hover. Um, this is not Lish. This is Vervain. All right. I'm going to mark that you're that flying. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to move up a little bit. Let me see how much, though. I'm going to cast a spell. And I just have to be within 120 feet, so let's measure. Well, I don't have to move up that close, at least. All right. Um, uh, hold on, though. I'm going to, I think, move to the side as well. The, the new measurement tool is a little frustrating. <laughs> yeah. be over here by this column. 
about there. Okay. And I'll be able to hit 120 feet. I'm going up kind of towards the top of the column a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm casting uh, sunbeam on this guy. No, moonbeam on this guy. It's okay. going to be a... What level is this? Sixth level moonbeam. And he has to make me a DC... Or no, a con 18 DC for me, please. All right. Let me... And I'm targeting right on him head. Because Aaron's not there anymore. Got a dirty 20, but that's okay because they take half damage anyway. Yep, half damage still. Um, if he's a shape changer, he has to make a saving throw with disadvantage, but I don't think he's a shape changer. Nah, he's just uh, really fucking old. Just fun. <laughs> fun dude. And I know uh, I ask this every time, but remind me of the radius. It's a five, five by 20 cone. Okay. Five by five I foot. I believe it's a five foot radius, 20 foot tall cylinder. So like right here? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just on his ass. All right, and now we're rolling damage. Could it actually be back one? I mean, Aaron's not there, so... I will be shortly. And doesn't it hang around? That's a it, good point. I can move it. It stays in place, though. Um, yeah, I mean, I can stick it behind him. Avery, if you could have it take up the space by the orb. Yep. I'm just about to be in smiting range, so thank you. You take 16 points of uh, radiant damage. All right. Cool. And uh, I don't know if he has to make a concentration check to hold whatever spell he's got on Aaron. But... Yes, he does. That's an actual point. All right, dear. Um my turn so cool so i like to preface this by saying that everyone just got really lucky with their roles here and by everyone i mean uh i Durin and uh the thing he whistles for <laughs> um so what he's gonna do is he I'm, I'm gonna have to move this for a second uh he's going to step out of it go here next to his chair um and for i also want it to be known that i am merciful dm and no i don't give me that i waited until you all were spread out before having him cast this so it wouldn't just be one on top of the other but he's casting just do your before. dirty work don't preface your crimes. Just commit Fine. them. Fine. <laughs> Eat your form. Have fun, fucker. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I've been trying to do, like, the measuring for this on, on the down low. Um, let's have these be a nice red. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's a 40 foot radius. Let me see if I can <laughs> uh, drag that around. I don't think Roll 20 likes me drawing circles today. Because the problem is, I have those spell templates, but none of them are big enough for this. <laughs> So, I, but I guess I can I can do it the dirty way. It's supposed to be a forty foot radius.
I'll do this one and then I have to put another one next to it because this is how it's going, I guess. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, sorry, measuring math. No one told me there'd be math in this game. I put my ruler up here. Not this just not math. But geometry. Yeah, I know. Not, it's it's fucked up. Is this not high school level and below math for fun? The game? <laughs> the movie? The video yeah, game? <laughs> no way we can get away from this fucking meteor storm with our well, movement. It's mostly me. about about seeing how they overlap. <laughs> and who has to make multiple saves. Uh, Frankly, if they the overlap, mode. they only have uh, to do it once, I thought. Frankly, it was just the coast. I want my money back. First, you sell me a logic puzzle in, like, booster pack installments, and now you're selling me supplements for high school math. For shame. A, a creature in the area of more than one fiery burst is affected only once. Uh, you guys are still all too close together. That's fine. They can just all be on top of each other. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that, but Bela V. <laughs> you can only get hit by one meteor? Okay. That's a lot more reassuring. That'd be fucking nuts. <laughs> Vecna, Vecna wouldn't have stood a fucking chance. <laughs> okay. I'd like everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. So that's a natural one. Cool. I'm the opposite end of the spectrum. Natural 20. What did you get total? Uh, I believe that is... Yeah, that's a three. Yeah, Hawk's using his one charge of Indomitable to re-roll a four. Uh, 21, ah. but I... If 21 doesn't make it, I have to make this decision beforehand. Do I really in favor of the gods? Because I do not want to take the full brunt of this. Clearly this is leagues better than a four. That's a nine. What does that even say? It says nine. <laughs> The camera flipped. Uh, it. Uh, 25, 26. It's I don't plus, want this. It's a plus yeah. three bonus at least. So that is a 12. That's definitely still not enough. I got a 16. I don't like what the DM is trying to sell us. The sign on the door says no soliciting. <laughs> to be fair, we did canonically lose this fight. This um, is level, level 20 wizard shit. <laughs> I think he mean warlock shit. He's a warlock with the oh, spell of, of a see. wizard. He's old-fashioned and weird. I don't he like cheats. him. And uh, he has legendary Andrews. actions. Tobias <laughs> got a 29 dexterity saving throw and Demir got a 14. So I think she fails. And I'm assuming this isn't affecting wherever Aaron is. No, you are in a maze. You don't know where you are. You aren't even <laughs> on this plane anymore. At least somebody got spared. Aaron's going to come back, look behind him, and see a gigantic crater. And wonder <laughs> what the hell happened. Man, we are, we are totally boned. This is, the damage on this is insane. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Balk and Tobias. I will only take half damage. Oh, I have to switch to his turn. Um, and sorry, now I have to roll a bunch of things. <laughs> um, I'm so worried. I'm gonna grab an entire cup, two handfuls of dice, I guess. Who knows? I know. I'm also going to read the description of this spell. So you guys know I'm being fair. <laughs> Blazing orbs of fire. You. Hold on. Let me read. 
Blazing orbs of fire plummet to the ground at four different points you can see within range. Each creature in a 40-foot radius sphere centered on each point that you choose must make a dexterity saving throw. The sphere spreads around corners. The creature takes 20d6 fire damage and 20d6 bludgeoning damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. A creature in an area of more than one fiery burst is affected only once. But just a moment here. Yeah, I mean, there's no way that... God, if those four points stacked on top of each other, no, absolutely nothing. But, like, maybe a harass or something stupid insane would be able to survive that. That would be... Listen, all you have to do is cross our fingers and hope that every single D6 is a low roll. There's no way it happens, but... 16 times... 20 d6 that would uh 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 <laughs> all on one person it was well, nice you, only get hit, you only get hit by one area it's still 40 know, but d6 if they, damage, if they stacked but... if they stacked on if they top, stacked that all four like that would be that would be disgusting yeah i mean this is also a spell that's in our hands eventually potentially so it would have to be balanced for player use that's for I saving don't... grace. It's a... You muted halfway through that. Okay. It's a um, sorcerer or so... wizard spell. So. This is... Uh, yeah, sorcerer or wizard. Um, ninth level. If I was weighing heavily between this and Power Word Kill, I'm gonna be honest. Um, this is more fun. <laughs> this is more. This is more, more theatric. More exciting, leaving say. you in suspense. Uh, speaking of which, um, eighty-four fire damage and um, eighty-eight bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is... Lish is unconscious. <laughs> that is an instant down for Hawk as well. Also right. instant down. He is yeah. unconscious. Cool. I'm sorry, did you just say 160 something? Cumulatively, yeah, it's like 168 or like something like that. I think Could it's you 172. Have rolled, like, just a couple oh. lower? That would have been nice. Because <laughs> I go down even with half. Because isn't it 84 <laughs> plus 88? Oh, the second was 80. I couldn't remember the second digit of either one. Yeah, that's 172 total damage. <laughs> Aaron, so save us. Out. You're our only hope. <laughs> I, I, was jo- I, was Aaron, no. I was joking about Aaron coming back to crate. I didn't expect it to be real. Aaron comes back and just and like and keeps and the box dead. on fire. <laughs> Well, well, if I down. had a couple more hit points, I could have gotten everyone back up, but... Damn, here, I assume you're down. Sorry, no, you're didn't... muted. You're muted. You're, you're, you're muted, Avery. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Samir and Toby are both out. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, What happens next is that um, a creature swoops down from the ceiling and just lands. Um, I will make sure to add add the the turn order properly. I'm gonna the kitty. Mm-hmm. Big old dragon kitty cat. Um. Thank God. Also got a twenty-four. And is covered in platinum. Uh. 
so uh, this is a uh, gargantuan creature. Yeah. Um, let's see. He's going to ready in action and just kind of pace and wait. Demir, I'd like you to roll a death saving throw. Nope, that's a failure. Cool. Mark one failure down. Yep. Tobias, and, uh, I'd like you to make a death saving throw. I don't trust my die, but... Mm. Oh, that's a success! He rolled a 19. All right. Mark your success down. Aaron, I'd like you to make an intelligence saving throw. Ooh, boy. All righty. Um, do I get to use? Yes, I do. I I can have a superiority die on this if I need it. Mm -hmm. And I need it. Um, so that'll be a, oh, well, that's good. Eh. Not great overall, though. That'll be a 14. That's a failure. You are still just wandering in this maze. Um, question. <laughs> question. Uh, <laughs> I think he does take four uh, psychic damage because he damaged uh... Oh, wait, no. Nope. Ev no one's within five feet of Toby. Never mind. <laughs> Right. Aaron's also to. ended his rage. Uh, not going to be useful for trying to get out of a maze. Mm -hmm. Balk, I'd like you to make a death saving throw. How does this work again? Roll a d20. Roll a d20 and uh, if you... Oh, it's fine, I rolled a one. Oh, that is two failures then. Okay. Levy, I'd like you to make a death, death saving throw. Oh, God. Don't you fuck me, Jerry. I swear to God. Okay, cool. It's a straight roll, or is it a con roll? Hang on. Straight roll, I believe. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 17. That's a success. Woo! Hawk, I'd like you to make a death saving throw. Twelve. That's a success. Ah. Let me just slam my d20 against my desk accidentally real quick. There. Well. Twelve, yeah. Success. Vervain. Sixteen. Success. It's now the Archmage's turn. He is going to cast a thing. Let's see what spell flavor is for this. Um. He put up a wall of force. He is going to step closer here. Hitty is still waiting. Demir. Remember death save? Mm-hmm. Uh, 11, that's a success. Success? And so bye. Ruby. That's another success. <clears throat> cool. Aaron, another okay. intelligent saving throw. Oh gosh. And these, mm. these death saving throws are to torture you, by the way. It's just in case someone gets a natural 20. Yeah, in case someone can oh. actually like get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, intelligent oh, saving not... throw. 
good either. Um, that's a five. Mm. Yeah, no. You are just in this, what seems to be a subterranean maze, and you're just feeling more and more lost. You don't know what's going on. Actually, how is Erin feeling in this moment? Um, I mean, you know, he's definitely having something weird going on here. He he gets that it's a plan. Um, he's like, well, you know, the only thing I can do right now is try to find something useful. He's probably got his paints out at this point, and he's just like, you know, mocking up the walls to see where he's gone. Um, but yeah, he's like, gotta gotta keep moving forward. Uh, there's nothing to do but move forward. All right. Valkyria, death saving throw, please. Uh, do I get to use my new ability on this? Which one is that? The uh, Fortune's Grace. Yeah. Uh, let's fish for a 20. Yeah, no. Didn't get a 20, but I think, uh, what, what's a success? 10 or above. Okay, so I got a success. Okay. You're not, you're not dead yet. Yet. Maybe. Let's see. Woohoo. Well, success. All right. Take that. Hawk. Let us see. We should get rid of this. That's another 12. That's another success. Mm-hmm. For Vane. Let's see. Nineteen, so close. <laughs> Damn. All right. From among his things, uh, the archmage withdraws uh, two items. He pulls out, uh, and I'm going to say for the sake of drama that you guys can all see this. Um, but he pulls out. Uh, a scroll that looks old and the death watch unbroken unused and he begins to use the death watch as something like a focus as he begins to cast from the scroll towards Mistra. Kitty is just guarding at this point. Damn here. RIP. Um, that's a success for Demir. Right. And a success for Toby. Toby is up. <laughs> uh, Toby is. Did he get a natural 20? Uh, no, but that was three. And successes. he is stable. He is no longer bleeding out. Okay. Um, yeah, he said he does not have any death saving throws, so I will just have him turn to the side. So we know he's okay. he is unconscious but safe. I put cool. him in. I put Tobias in the trap position. <laughs> <laughs> I switched Tobias into trap position. Uh, I tap Tobias <laughs> and attack face. You've activated my trap, Toby. <laughs> All right. I would he like to make trap. another intelligence saving throw. That's not terrible. That's a um that's a 16. That's a failure, I'm afraid. Gross DC is just too high. Yep. Well, in the maze. Has its own DC in the maze. is the thing. Oh, really? Yeah. But that's fascinating. That's, I guess it would be a maze interesting of and also a specific context. difficulty. 
all, all the wiz all the wizards get their their psychic mind prison from the same store. Um. All right, Valkyria. I'd like you to make another death saving throw. Uh, I succeeded, but now they're twenty. So. Okay. How many successes do you have at this point? Two. Your two successes and two failures. So the next round will be really exciting for you either way. <laughs> Lazy. Woo! Death saving throw. Fuck! It's a nineteen. <laughs> so close and yet so far. How many successes do you have? Three. Three. So you are stabilized. I'm not going to put you in the trap position. <laughs> Levy trap. Levy trap. <laughs> um, for the sake of this, what is going through your mind right now? Oh, for... You remember, for... this is an alternate timeline. Right, for, for Levy. What's, what's going through her mind right now? Yes. Uh, for an alternate timeline. She's just thinking. Uh, in an alternate timeline, I think she would be thinking that she should have stayed on the farm and that she's just failing this anyways. All right. Hawk. You're muted. Ooh. Two? A failure. Yeah. Um, how many successes are you at? Two. And uh, this is your only failure? This is my only failure, yes. Okay. Vervain. That's my first failure. Okay. Um, the Archmage is going to continue to cast this whatever it is through the watch. It is standing guard. Demir. That is Demir's second failure. All right. So Tobias doesn't Toby, need to make him anymore. Yeah, he's, Toby he's safe. unconscious. Cool, cool, cool. Aaron, intelligence what? saving throw, please. I do have a question about Toby, and I can't find it on his character sheet, but like, mm -hmm. he is still a werewolf. Does that like? Does drop because I know that dropping lower HP affects his like lycanthropy. Does that does the death saving throws impact that, or is it only when he's transformed? For the sake of this, I do know that when uh, lycanthropes drop below a certain amount of hit points they can't control themselves which can, can uh, cause transformation he yeah. didn't even get the chance to be low though he just went from 100 to zero yeah. so yeah so uh, yeah i was just asking i i wasn't sure because it wasn't clear on the sheet so yeah i don't think it would affect the the saving throws necessarily. cool unless there's cool. something that specifically says uh, yeah. not that I can see. Um, so, this, is, yeah. this is about his uh, lichen hunter features, right? Yeah. I, was poked, I poked around. I looked at the subclass before because I intended to make a thing, uh, but changed my mind. Uh, that that only applies when they're in hybrid form. Okay, cool, cool. And he wasn't transformed, so mm -hmm. all right. Aaron, intelligence saving throw, please. Aaron's still trapped in the maze. That was a six. All right. He, he hasn't rolled above a five on the die yet. 
to get out Change of your people. dice, please. Uh, you you're... need to change your dice out. My God. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I've gone through three dice so far. You're fairly certain at this point, at least you think, that the maze is somehow removing the paint marks you're making. Ah, oh, fuck then. You're not you're not entirely sure though. It all just looks the same. Valkyria. I die spectacularly. Okay. I rolled another one. Okay. Oh my god. So, uh, Balk. Do you have any last words? <laughs> the only thing that comes to my brain is, fuck you, god. <laughs> okay. So, Valk, and moments before your death, your eyes flutter open and you see this large cat-like being glowing with violet magical energy looking down at you. Bad like, kitty. <laughs> okay, and you tell it bad kitty. And you die. Levy, you are unconscious, but stable. Hawk. Sixteen. Uh, that's three successes. Three successes. I will activate uh, Hawk's trap position. <laughs> uh, what is going through your mind right now? Uh... This is prob this is a past version of Hawk, I'm pretty sure. So he's probably think thinking back to the people he's failed and how he's failed even more people yet again. Alright. Vervain. Another failure. Why? All right. He continues to cast the spell. Big cat steps forward and just looms over Valk's dead body and puts one clawed foot on her and is just watching the rest of you bleed out on the floor. Come here. Okay, I have two successes and two failures. <laughs> oh, that's a success. Okay. All right. Activate her trout card. Mm hmm. That's going through your mind right now. Ah. Uh, honestly, I don't know if there's a lot going on in her brain right now, um, other than like, looking around and trying to find Lish. Uh, even if, like, she's not able to open her eyes, there's a... She's reaching out for Vervain. Okay. Goodbye at the stable. Erin. Can I try doing something weird uh, instead of doing a save? What would you like to try? Um, I'm going to, assuming that I have my marvelous pigments, um, try to take them out and just put a trap door on the floor. Okay. So you put a trap door on the floor Make sure you mark down the use of the paint. Will do. And you know in uh, in Skyrim where you kind of glitch out of the wall and you just start falling in a gray void and then land back where you started? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> nice. Mm. Well, that was worth trying. <laughs> All right. Uh, Valk is dead, so I'm actually going to remove her from turn order. <laughs> Levy is unconscious. Hawk is unconscious. Vervain. There we go. Either or. Eleven. Success. He is stable. All right. So what what is going through Vervain's mind at the moment? <laughs> uh, a lot of like, <laughs> in more polite terms of like, this fucking asshole, fucking wizard, <laughs> like, um, mad at himself and this whole situation, um, and uh, wishing that he wasn't so far away from where Demir is. Yep. As he continues the ritual, um, you can tell that Mistra is continuing to try to fight against this magical constraint that he has placed upon her. She's trying to do something and seeking time. For the purposes of this, let's skip over to Erin. Alrighty. I think that might have been his only uh, <laughs> interesting thought. I was just going to roll straight this time. But I can burn a fortune flavor on it if I need to. Actually, that's not bad. Okay. Using another superiority die. Oh, that is exactly 20. All right. So. Would I also. Mm -hmm. That was your, uh, your action to try to escape, but you continue to walk frustrated through the apparently endless uh, maze um, and eventually you find a doorway uh, and step through it and you find yourself back exactly where you were. Okay. Um, you're, in, you're in clutch? You're... Would I have had the extra movement to switch out my weapons while wandering the lab went? Switching out your weapon is a free action. Alright. Um, in that case, Aaron is currently wielding his nine lives stealer. <laughs> okay. You appear back. There is a glowing wall next to you that wasn't there before. And all you can just beyond it, you can see all of your friends, either unconscious or dead, along with this large cat-like being. Yeah, I mean, I think he's just gonna, you know, go out, um, and just stir that we are very obviously losing this fight, and he's just gonna, he's just gonna, you know turn fully away from that he's he's not checking what's up anywhere he's not processing what's going on there it is he's just focused in um Deeran because what else are you gonna do all right which brings us back to the Archmage's turn and so Aaron, you get a front row seat for this. What's happening here? 
he casts the spell through the watch, breaking one of the lenses. And the, the, this burst of energy shoots forward. The net around Mistra dissolves. And she is able to focus her energy for what you can gather, she believes, may be the last time. And magical energy bursts forth from her in sort of like a pulsing wave. And you can feel it's almost as if you yourself are being yanked abruptly to the side. The rest of you, in your uh, various unconscious or even dead states, can sort of sense this yanking sensation as well. Then there's the sensation of falling, falling, and falling. It feels like you're falling forever, but it's not like a rapid, dangerous fall, like you're worried about the impact. It's more like the sensation of the spell feather fall. Valkyria, since you had died, you were sent elsewhere. But the rest of you find yourself surrounded by grass in a field. Full circle, baby! Yeah! My god, that worked out so fucking perfectly mm -hmm. for the narrative. I'm my gonna god. eat my desk! <laughs> and this is all part of the, the dream, the vision. You now remember the events that took place before uh, before you woke up in that field. Um, Levy, you can sense it's all uh, a piece of Mistra's magic flow to you while you are in this falling state. And it's like a little bead of energy which nestles in your chest. Cradles it gently. And <laughs> like a baby bird. It is now that we come back to the present. The temple itself is gone. The part about waking up in a field wasn't altogether incorrect because you find yourself near the stone that you had seen the chicken on before. Uh, Zoda, while, from your perspective, while this was going on, I was about to ask, yeah. you, were, you were sitting there, taking notes, observing your friends, and you look down at your paper to take a note, and you blink and look up, and the temple is gone. But your friends are all still there. You don't know what happened, but you all start to, to come to consciousness at this point. The first thing that several of you probably hear is, what the fuck? lie down for a bit. <laughs> Levy is like upright and she's like scrambling onto like probably her hands and knees because it's like oh, oh, whoa. Uh and she is going to everybody and checking on them. <laughs> yeah, everyone's perfectly fine. Just as they were when you started the ritual. Speak for yourself. I just died again. Again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I think Aaron's like confirming with everyone that we all saw the same thing. Mm -hmm. And also trying to figure out. No, he's not trying to figure anything out. He's just confirming we all got the same vision. 
it's probably notable to people who have known Levi for a long time, like since the beginning, um, that she doesn't have that like usual glaze over her eyes that she would in a situation like this. She's like fully present. She's just kind of freaked out and worried. She's coping. <laughs> she's coping. <laughs> oh, she's character just, growth. <laughs> she's just like she's a little shaky, and she's like, "Dear God, that was so much." Uh, and she's checking on everybody to make sure that we are all unscathed. <laughs> uh, and probably hugging everybody. <laughs> as well just like <laughs> just kind of reassuring herself out loud but under her breath okay we're okay everything we're okay <laughs> just a ritual we're fine we're fine <laughs> but she's she's there she's checking she's just she just got spooked <laughs> but there's well, not give her in her blood a hug no ghosts in her blood. She doesn't need to do <laughs> crap her her about it. Yeah! She gives <laughs> hugs. She gives hugs. She's like, okay, you're okay, next person. Okay, you're okay. <laughs> Lish is pulling the pocket watch out, and he's trying... I don't remember where we got the pocket watch from. Does anybody remember? You got it from the, the demon in... Uh... In Uvila that was uh, um, framing Esmeralda for murder, but actually not too far away from where you are now. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds like we might need to interrogate a demon. He's fucking dead. They murdered him. <laughs> no, just sent back to uh, hell, correct? I mean, there's business that we gotta take care of in hell anyway, so. <laughs> At some as point, we're gonna track down a fucking the demon. He would be in the abyss. We gotta go to kill that Rakshasa at some point proper, if we even know at this point that he's gone to He's gone! Hell. We don't have to worry about him. We killed him! We killed that demon dead. We don't... We don't know how demons work. We're fucking idiots. I do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you, didn't, it's just... you don't know that we fought a Rakshasa, though, do you? No. no. <laughs> I'm just. We have got we to not start telling shit. No one tells Valkyria anything. <laughs> no one tells Zoda tell anything either. Speaking of. Fair, she... She does it's for Zoda's own good and she don't know shit. I mean, it's funny if she doesn't know shit, honestly. But either to way... To be fair, Valk doesn't ask a lot of questions that aren't immediately relevant to her and her That's current true. worries. That's true. And, like, I love this about her. It's a very, like, fun character point, but also this is why we don't tell her shit, because it doesn't come up. <laughs> yeah, Valk just kind of is focused on making today work. Yeah. Speak yeah. But yeah, speaking of uh asking questions and not knowing what's going on, it's at this point that Zoda sees the absolute state of everyone, just like rushes over, book closed and tucked away. And it's just like, oh gee. God's above, what happened? <laughs> You guys were all sleeping, and then the temple disappeared, and now you're all waking up like you just had a collective nightmare. What happened? Well, we figured out where the time loop came from. Oh, uh, this is the point where Val kind of wakes up the rest of the way and is like, Levy, do you still have the bibble? Uh, does she? <laughs> yeah. She sure does, and she's gonna crack it open and look, and make sure that it is uh, unscathed. Yep, looks the exact same. And Dope. we all have our Mr. Holy symbols? Mm-hmm. Aaron's gonna um, go up go up to Demir um, and say, uh, Demir? Uh, what? And he'll, you know, put a hand on her shoulder. She had, um, like, 
sen- uh, setting up um, and like Levy coming over and hugging her and all that stuff, she has not moved and has been staring at Lish um, and at the watch in his hand. And when Aaron comes up to her, it like takes her a solid second or two before she like finally looks over at him and just what yeah it's just you know sitting there for that <sighs> first of all I'm I'm sorry um okay it's okay we're all okay what what are you sorry for that that was just awful for all of us I wasn't there, I guess. Mm-hmm. But that's that's not important. I just just you know don't want to I mean, don't want to jump into. I do have something to ask you, but I I don't want to jump into anything until you know you're you've taken a deep breath. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um. You have nothing to apologize for. And he's gonna uh, just work a smile up a little bit and say, um, I'm gonna get him next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lush kind of <laughs> like holds the watch shot a little bit. Like, did you, you, did you see anything more about what he did with this? Did anybody oh, see? Yeah, he did he did some sort of magic through it with it. Um and with Stra. Um did it was it cracked when you got it? Yes. yes. Well, I saw what that broken a what that uh, charge was used for. Um, well, kind of. I mean, it was Aaron. He he cast some sort of spell in it, and it broke, and Mister broke, and well, everything broke. Apparently, what a channel for him this whole time. I broke. You broke. <laughs> uh, uh, did did you die, Valk? Yeah. I I did, did... I think that's why I didn't wake up in the field. It didn't. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Was was everyone else not? dead i i did not i feel like that levy hugs bulk anything i could have done uh to help i didn't i didn't check i don't think there was much any of us could do at that point i'm just curious now if mr is dead or unconstituted what exactly her state is I I saw in my vision her getting kidnapped or otherwise captured then (sighs) I mean I think you'd probably know more um, than well than some of us and He's gonna point at himself. What what happens to a creature you use as a power source or a component for uh, for a big spell like that? Well, it depends upon if he's destroying the god or if he's using her powers like some sort of battery. He was definitely using her. 
And he's, he's still looking, making direct eye contact with Lish. I mean, just he asks Aaron to describe it more, like what he was doing with the watch. And based off of like what Aaron is describing, can Lish try and make some kind of arcana check to see if he is at all able to piece together what this what? Sure, make more contact. <laughs> but actually, um, Aaron, while you're at it, I'd like you to make a, let's say, uh, an intelligence check to see how well you're able to describe this. I mean, should I oh. wait until Aaron rolls? <laughs> Do I get advantage? Mm, <laughs> fuck. Okay. That is a natural 20. All right. Oh, actually. Cool. So that lowers Do the I DC. get to roll with advantage? No, oh, it just okay. lowers the DC. All right. What did I roll? I rolled a uh, 13. 13. Um, it definitely seems like, from the way that Aaron is describing it, that... Uh, Mistra was being used as a power source rather than being destroyed. He was drawing upon her power to, from the way that Erin is describing, to create something. But you're not entirely sure what it was he was trying to create. Did he have anything else in his hands? Was he wearing anything that you could see? A talisman, a totem, a... a imbuing, Im imbuing something. I mean, DM, but I don't think I remember seeing anything. It seemed like he was in traveling clothes. He was wearing a cloak. Um, it seems like he may have had some extra scrolls within his cloak, um, but he was holding the scroll in one hand, um, and it seemed pretty old, uh, and then the watch in the other hand. Right, he had a scroll that he was going off of. Um, did that get consumed, it seemed? Okay. Probably. I mean, based, I'll just say yes because Aaron got a natural 20. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Mm. Hey, that means it was a, a one time DLA. Yeah. Maybe. Or he was small. creating some sort of item that allows him to punch holes, create pathways. That, or he was creating the pathway itself. I feel like it's got to be something that he is able to use multiple times. Travel. I mean, he, there's a... Ripping holes. There's multiple. a lot fucked up for if it... If it was just the one cast. But, I mean... Fucking up a god. <laughs> found some old magic somewhere where would he have i doubt that he researched this all only by himself he must have found information somewhere to source this did he complete his spell or did mistra interrupt it that scroll could still be out there. It looked like he completed it. And in the completion of the spell, Mr. was able to seize the opportunity to try to protect you all, sending you back. Do you... Disrupting yeah, the I think that, I think think that was a dying gasp. Do you think that maybe if she hadn't saved us, she would have been alright? Or is that was that just her I, being doomed and acting quick? 
I think this might have been her I last think there ditch was any... chance to change what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I, think there I was any chance he... of her being okay. He... I think she is a great service. Has I, I do not think. Yeah, you've got you've got a piece of her. What? You've got the the means to her. As, you know, How would Erin know that? We haven't talked about it yet. The Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just shit, talking Bible right, right now. Um, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. magical creation. My bad. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. That that would have been that would have been a lot for him to get. No, but he's just uh, talking about the Bible uh, and about her, Levy maybe starting to reforge connections to her. Yeah, yeah, I've got the book's fine, but um, I think she also, and she's like, kind of patting at her chest. It's <laughs> like, uh, not too alarm in it, buddy. <laughs> but I think I, I got what I was after, anyways, with the whole uh having some kind of link to her. Oh? There's definitely something different. What do you mean? Uh, yes, what do you mean? DM help. <laughs> um, I mean, you're, you're not entirely sure what it is, but you feel a little extra pocket of energy that you could potentially meditate or call upon. Uh, I think she gave me uh, perhaps a little bit of her power with that. I don't know how it would work that it would happen to the me of now and not the me of before all this, but... I mean, we did just do a, a ritual a strud ritual, I think. So maybe that, maybe that was another connection that she could leverage. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's tied to your book. consciousness, not your body. And so your soul received it now, even I mean, though your was... body was sent back. I mean, we were we were asleep, so I mean that that is that it makes sense because of the whole half my soul being a dream spirit thing and all that. Huh. Um, I, I guess I'm beholden to a goddess now. <laughs> I just wanted well, kind of her. Yeah, and that's, that's what you wanted to get, right? I mean, in a way, I was hoping for a more formal arrangement, but I suppose this works considering the circumstances. At least it's Mistra, <laughs> <laughs> and I, w I was going for it anyway. <laughs> She's so nervous. <laughs> I I think we all were hoping for something less chaotic than uh, uh, what we've been left with. I mean, mm. yeah, it would have been nice to succeed, but I don't think that that was the point. Uh, I I don't think we were meant to win that fight, even. Even in it's retrospect, like here we were meant to get a get information from it. We got we information, right? Yep, I'm I'm not forgetting that anytime soon. So, Whew. mission accomplished. I can't believe we forgot it in the first place. <laughs> Quite <laughs> frank. God, we neither. are so fucked. I mean, as we are now, yes, but uh, we wouldn't exactly be going in the second time half cocked. It has he been. was an archfey. Side. And Mistra, a goddess, with the last moment she had, thought we might be able to do something about that. Thought sending us back might change something. Possibly. I don't know. I'm was just flailing. If I'm we do nothing, not, nothing will change. I'm not willing to give up. She gave me a scrap of her power somehow. I'm not giving up. I'm not losing any hope. 
the fact that she manages that, it, I mean, it was a pipe dream of a of a of a hope and a theory on my part to even to even think that she could have done something like that, and she managed it without me even getting a chance to formally reach for it. So you know what? I think we can do this somehow. <laughs> Some way. <laughs> she picked us. How? 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 I don't know yet. We still have to figure that out, and we have shit to do in the meantime. But fuck, this is better than I had could have dreamed for. Pun intended. Well, <laughs> we know what he's capable of, so we can now plan how to counteract what he can do. And Bring in some heavy counter has a good spelling. Point that he must have gotten his information from somewhere, and we can look into that now. Also, <laughs> if we know that he can shunt us into an alternate dimension, if we could make it so he can't do that, that would give uh, the marshals the ability to close in on him. True, we do got that tune of fort tuned to this plane as well. So if we're fighting on this plane and somebody gets booted to a different plane with a tune of fork, they got a better chance of coming back a lot quicker. Right? That's how that works, right? <laughs> well, we could also see if there's other options. Isn't there like a rod that does something similar to that as well? Possibly. Movability or something. Not to mention, we were by ourselves in that. Uh, it just, just the, this group. Uh, we we have a lot more allies this time. I mean, I mean, Aldrich's trying to trying to get his party back together, and they are much more experienced than we are in a lot of this stuff. We weren't able to prepare previously. We can prepare this time. Yeah. Previously, we were trying to stop him from doing what he was trying to do with Mistra. Now that we are in the after, there is a bit more time. There is there is some time, and we're going in with a lot more knowledge than we had uh, suspected. So we have better chances. I'm not saying it's a guarantee that we can stop all this, but I'm. She's still like got her head pressed to her chest. She's like I'm. Even if you can't stop it, there's a chance you can at least undo it. There's if a Mishra was, we can if Mishra we... was really like gone, gone, like yeah. actually gone. She's still kicking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys have been having visions from her and of her. And though like history itself seems to be just like forgetting her entirely, you guys aren't. No, Some and part we have of her this. Is persisting. And and we have this, and she gave us this opportunity somehow. Uh, she's she's still out there trying to pull some strings. We also might be able to replicate what the indefinite did, but to undo what he did instead of, of whatever he's doing. That part's going to be a lot harder, I think. Remember how the other archmages, or I guess... One of them couldn't even recognize the portal that he'd created. Whether he asked for the portal to be created or asked for an item that could create one, as Lish suggested, uh, it's not magic that's familiar to even the most practiced and knowledgeable of the Archmages. So around this time that you realize the, the room that you guys saw in the vision was about the same size and shape of the room with the doom portal in the in the now time um there are even giant cracks um destruction on the floor where meteors could have fallen <laughs> uh, yeah that that tears it <laughs> I actually did notice a similarity, but I didn't say anything. It Same. wasn't an rent in the time space continuum. Item. It wasn't an item, it was the portal. 
Mm. Does that mean, though, that he has been coming and going from the portal, or has he just been in it? He might just be in it. If he's searching it all of we... time, he's searching all of time for his long lost love. I don't think he'd have a reason to leave. And it means we know where to find him when uh, God, when we're ready like, to. God, this, guy's an idiot. <laughs> this guy is such an idiot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's so many ways to bring people back from the dead. <laughs> You don't have to shatter the entire timeline to do it. And even then, who knows Idiot. if it could really be her. I think we can figure something out, but right now we're a little uh, yeah, discombobulated. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should uh, reconvene with our uh, wizard friends that we actually like and are good people. <laughs> yeah. I think now would be a good time to, for you guys to get home and rest. Uh, uh, properly rest. I can take so much of this back to Aldric, and we can uh, bring so much of it in, you know, long distance, short distance, and I don't care, to, to, to Varhasa. I'll transcribe my notes for you. That should help. The We should also pour over the fuck it's not the bibble it, it's uh the, the song the... of magical creation yes that might have secrets to how mistress power is being used in this way it's more just information on mister as a whole but it could have some insight a bit into that um but a lot of it i think would be a certain amount of conjecture. However, seeing as uh, we're friends with academics, they might have more um, knowledge and resources with which to uh, combine with this uh, to to figure things out a bit. While I'm not particularly good with the arcane, I do have a history with uh, the teachings of religion, I might be able to see between the lines as well. Hang on. I'm reading something that the DM sent me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I mean, in, in one play, in one way or another, um, it, it makes entire sense. Um, from what I, I've I've gleaned so far from the book, uh, even without combining all all the resources at our uh, extended thing like reach uh, with our compatriots, is that um, Mistra had a big hand in weaving together reality as we know it. With her gone, it it kind of confirms a lot of things that she she and her power were integral to the structure of I mean just reality as we know it so with her disappearing of course things are unraveling I would still like a chance to read oh no absolutely yeah and then we can compare notes yes yes I Absolutely. Uh, and then I want this and our notes and as much of the direct actual text of this book to reach Aldrich and Varhatha as possible. Also, Ooh. we sh- with Aaron's painting skills and his magic paint, we might be able to recreate or at least a rough estimate of what the ritual he was doing and we can have our uh, arcane talented resources friends take a look at it possibly uh lish you had something to say who do we start with bahas or alark aldrich um uh, i mean Oh shit! Who's closer right now? 
think Alchick would be closer. He's only two towns away. Aren't we gathering people continent. at the tragedy house? I can Are get we? us either you sent or Aldrich and his party more or less to the doom portal itself. Barhasa, um, you got given instructions to go anywhere in particular, but he did offer to assist with figuring out the doom portal if he needed her to. And the Doom Portal, just so I've got this straight in my head, is the one that we uh, had in our backyard. Big... <laughs> no. No, the Doom Portal is the one in the tower. The one in the tower. The Turning Spire? That we just saw get created. It's this okay. one. <laughs> the, the big one. The big one. The, the big the scary Doom one. Portal. The, the Doom Portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Uh, have okay, to okay. On it. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, hey, look, there's where I died. <laughs> uh, all right. So, probably uh, would. Do we want to regroup first, or do we want to start heading a particular direction? Or also do a creepy sword to pick up from a, a creepy child. <laughs> yes, sword from child. We have the the ball that we were invited to. Uh, 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 we could we could make more allies. <laughs> we could network. Invited to, but <laughs> more allies are always a good thing. So we should definitely get into that ball. The powerful of the country <laughs> will be there. And definitely plus, need to be talking to the people we've talked to before. I'm thinking in particular of that adventuring party we fought against that one time. Yes. In the pit. Absolutely. Yes, we should get them back. And also there is the apprentice wizard god person that we were tracking down a temple to. Yes, we need to start pulling resources and focusing on our numbers and allyship because that took us by surprise and we have the advantage of time now and we really should be utilizing that i think we should go back to the manor contact our allies and come up with the plan of where we're going next I can get us to Royus or to Varhas's tower, but you better decide quickly because it's ten minute casting spell and I'm going to start drinking in fifteen. Zamir is well, going through her bag and pulling out the bottles of liquor that she has. Well, <laughs> nope. isn't Lish able to uh, tree us back to the manor? We already did that once today. Oh, shoot. Okay. Did we? Uh... I also know the spell. I just oh, the yeah, components. I guess so. Sweet. Uh, I think we should go. My vote's for the manor and coming up with a more solid plan than our harried thinking outside of the temple ruins. I agree. Yeah, You've also got two pets to drop now. off. <laughs> okay, raising yes. my hand. I have seventh level spell now and I can upcast the the thing so Waller. so let's head home and put together a plan well does that sound good to everybody mm -hmm. yeah I think so okay Not my manner all right well let's go home then uh Zota if you'd like to to take a rest uh there uh you're more than welcome <laughs> oh thank you uh i probably should make sure that uh i haven't been thrown out of my dorm after all this time though oh goodness yeah i'm sure steak's keeping an eye on it but I oh he totally is too actually <laughs> he totally is he's he's, oh, he's, uh, totally. <laughs> he's he's holding down the fort for you don't even worry about it <laughs> he's a homie he's a bro she wants to see your friend again yeah hang out with the bro the little guy who's fuck deep in his thesis right now <laughs> I mean, she's a bad 
All right. All right. Home time? So are we treeing or are we doing a teleportation circle? Um, let me just double so check. So, the, tree, so... the tree would and the tree would have you guys end up a lot closer because we don't have teleportation circle in the manor, and also wouldn't yeah. use up materials since the yeah. teleportation circle requires yeah. materials. We'd be teleporting into probably the college if we used the circle. Yeah. That's Wait. The so okay. So as far as the time, the, the timeline goes, we we long rested, then we transport via planted to the temple, and then now it's so and then i but i did cast moon okay this for the this purposes of this cast... anything you cast in the okay. vision does not count okay yes then in that case I, the moonbeam spell i cast doesn't count so we can travel by plants okay yes so we can find a nice happy tree and come out in the graveyard at the manor all right. So you return to the manor. Uh, I'll switch back to the, the calm music instead of the planning music. <laughs> um, all right. You teleport back in. Um, uh, the kids are there. The ghost is there. Uh, there's a nice little pile of mail on the the table in the dining room waiting for you nice uh levy is greeting kids and ghost very warmly cool hugs for whoever can and or wants <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. same and then valk for her dealing with the fact that she just died uh will probably be chopping wood to just zone out okay is her battle plan. I'm just gonna, you know, have Demir's uh, drinking. Hi. <laughs> All right. I think, I, the kids I and think everything. Lisha's gonna Lisha's gonna scoop up Demir and take her away from her plans to drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> intervention. Well, you know, the kids. Um like we um we got some uh some friends for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, who are you saying this to? Um, Go and Egress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Echo looks a little skeptical, but Egress, his tail kind of starts lashing a bit, and he looks interested. No, no, you know, so, whoo, something. Mm -hmm. Something just poofs next to you, and uh, both kids gasp. Um, and, uh, uh, Egress just starts kind of wrestling with something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Echo is scolding him for it, saying, like, stop, you should just pet him. It's okay. You don't have to play right now. Just sit behind her. <laughs> <laughs> so right, as long as, as long as, you know, something's, uh, something's up for it. It's he looks pretty lively right now. What? Sorry, what's his name? Oh, uh, something. Yes, I'm sure its name is something, but what what are you calling it? No, no, no. Um, his name is literally the word something. S O M E T H I N G. Mm -hmm. Echo just looks baffled. <laughs> As does Valk. Aaron, Aaron can spell. Aaron... <laughs> Egress is just Aaron... still kind of playing with them. Aaron leaps into Echo and says, Demir named him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys got like uh, a thing while you were out. Oh, really? Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I put it aside because I thought it looked, I don't know, fancier than 
like the junk mail you usually get. Hang on. Um, and she retrieves from one of the tables and pulls out uh, an envelope and just hands it to you. I, oh, yeah, well, well spotted. Um, yeah, Aaron, Aaron is okay with opening our communal mail. Cool. Um, uh, Levy is posted up by one of the windows, by the way, and keeping an eye on Balk to make sure that she's not overexerting herself or zoning out too hard. All right. While this happens. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well that that just neatly solves uh uh one of our problems. And he'll, you know, show it around and uh seek out seek out people who aren't here but don't seem like they don't want people to talk to them. So I guess just Valk. Mm. All right. Stop it. Sorry, my son's trying to steal my dice. Um, so, the Look, Bob, uh, we're gonna get to schmooze. invitation for those of you who don't bother looking in Discord. <laughs> you are cordially invited to the upcoming Masquerade Ball. Join us on the seventh day of the seventh month at the Luminescent Citadel. Invitation required, dress code enforced. Uh, and it's addressed to Demir of Marhaba. Erin of the Cave Runners, Livnara Beck, uh, Lish of Lands Unknown, Valkyria Lightbringer, Hawk of Island, and Tobias the Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my god, that's fun. As you look over the invitation, I think that's where we'll call it for the day. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> what a session. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so bad for Demir. What? This is the, this is the <laughs> second... Poor Demir. What are we doing breakdown she's had this campaign? Yeah, she'll get over it. <laughs> and Levy's just like, by god, we're gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know yet, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Fine. This poor woman. Levy will come uh, check on her in a bit. Uh, she just has to keep an eye on the other wife <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm excited because we're finally at the manor, which means Hawk can finally join the party because no one has been in contact with him this entire time. If it was Levy's choice, she would have called him every day to be annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Valk would definitely be contacting Hawk post that combat where, where Hawk was there to get him back. So yeah, that'll be happening after, you know, no, the wood already, chopping. He is already heading to the manor, but I look forward to seeing what you'll be messaging him. Sorry for uh, Demir's breakdown interrupting whatever Aaron had to say to her. <laughs> nope, this is more important and he was fully prepared for that happening. Also, it's completely in character, let's be honest. Also, yeah. it's completely in character, let's be honest. Mm. We, we 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 love our Marharban bitch. It's fine. We love <laughs> we love our messy, messy woman. God forbid a woman do anything. <laughs> Look, she has the best coping mechanisms. This bitch is fine. Truly. Mm -hmm. Honest mm -hmm. to God. If she keeps running, her problems will never catch up with her. Exactly. <laughs> She's been hauled off to cuddle so she can't drink. <laughs> thank you for playing, guys. Thank you thank for the you session. For hosting oh my this. god. Yeah, oh my no, god. thank you for host. Uh, yeah. Highlight of the week. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? The twist. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>